Non-hard surface shoulder maintenance involves returning the shoulder to its original constructed condition, or as close to it as possible. A well-maintained shoulder should be properly sloped for good drainage and safe for use by vehicles in an emergency. Shoulder maintenance starts with an experienced superintendent doing a thorough evaluation. Does the shoulder have a uniform slope of about one inch per foot? Is the shoulder too low? Shoulders should be relatively flush with the edge of the pavement. Is the shoulder too high? High shoulders cause water to pond or run along the edge of the pavement. Are there ruts or trenches in the shoulder deeper than about two inches? The extent of the maintenance required determines the equipment and materials you'll need and the size of the crew. Shoulder maintenance equipment typically includes motor graders, hydraulic excavators, backhoes, rotary broom tractors, rollers, dump trucks, force feed loaders, front end loaders, conveyors, and hand tools. If possible, establish a staging area near the job site. Look for areas within our right of way or a public area such as a commuter lot. Staging areas help minimize traffic interruption and reduce equipment within the work zone. Also, staging equipment ahead of time near the job site speeds up operations in the morning on job day. Shoulder maintenance day starts with job one at VDOT, safety. Crews must begin their day with a safety meeting, discuss the work zone setup, PPE, what to do in case of an emergency, the safe operation of the equipment you'll be using, and any safety concerns about the location. Once your work zone is set up, line up the dump trucks in the work zone. As the trucks are filled and leave, the next empty truck is nearby to continue operations. The grader makes one or two passes with the blade set to the proper angle and slope. Any high material from the shoulder is windrowed to the edge of the pavement. The force feed loader works behind the grader, loading the windrowed material into the trucks. The rotary broom then follows, sweeping the area. If necessary, the superintendent will schedule a follow-up operation to seed or hydro seed the area. When grading the shoulder, Existing high material can be moved and compacted to fill low areas. Filling low areas can also involve adding number 25 or number 26 crusher run or number 21A stone. Use a truck with a tailgate mounted side conveyor. Grade and hand rake the stone to the correct slope and height. Compact with a roller. The rotary broom follows last to sweep the area.